question is arise by most of the users that which one we should prefer. So today we will find the answer for this question. Well, HTML it is defined as the standard language for all of the web pages. Though its syntax is quite similar to the XML language but it does not follow those standards which are required for being the XML. That's why XHTML was developed which was actually following all the XML standards and it had certain very good advantages which we will be discussing today. First is XHTML it is easier to maintain and the reason is that its structure is so accurate and it follows a stricter syntax and it is quite a stricter language as compared to HTML. There are certain things which a user must take care of in XHTML that all the elements and attributes they should be in small letters. Second important thing is all your non-container elements they should have their ending tags as well. And the second point which we consider is that XHTML it is ready for future use and yes it's true because we can easily upgrade to the new versions if even we are using the XHTML and as we will upgrade to the newer versions we have more better advantages. Third point which is considered is that XHTML prior, uh, the, the add-on points that it shows other than HTML. First is we have MathML which is mathematical markup language which is used as to show the mathematical notations in XML based applications. Second is SMIL which is synchronized multimedia interactive language which are used for the audio visuals presentation and they are very useful. Third one which is SVG which is scalar vector graphics. It is an XML based image format which can also provide the user with better interaction and better animation skills. And XHTML it is actually good in its own way because just being just because it's a XML based application and it is following all those XML standards in addition to it, it also provides a, uh, a tool which is XSLT which is extensible style sheet language for transformations. XSLT is basically used for transforming those XML documents and there are certain more advantages which a user can get if he is well known about all the tools which are related to XHTM. Well, that's all for today. For more updates, stay tuned to Intelligent.com.